Good on boys a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a labs tutorial like angle guide uh places to um take advantage of um and that sort of thing so that's what we're gonna do today uh this is gonna be one as if you're playing as a solo if you guys like this video i'll probably do one for duos for like certain boost spots that have been super beneficial for me um and again if you guys do like this style of video let me know and i will do this video for all the other maps i play so let's get into it all right so i'm just gonna walk you guys through the map uh just based on where i spawn honestly and um we'll uh take it like that all right so for this first spot um this is probably if it's not the dirtiest angle in the game it is one of the dirtiest angles in the game uh, it's for when someone's down this hallway trying to fight you. Um, if you're having a little bit of a hard time, uh, this spot is known to be really scummy, but, um, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So you can actually aim through here. Um, it's a little pixel peek, and you can shoot all the way down. See? Hit right here. Yeah, here, here. And you can even check this little headshot box if you move over. Right here. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a little weird to get used to, uh, you'll figure out the positioning for it, but it's a very, very cheese spot. So while we're already down here, I might as well just show you guys this spot that a viewer showed me recently. Um, I haven't personally used it yet. I do see how it could work. Um, and I do believe you have to kind of be propped up, I would think. Oh. Yeah, so as long as you're aiming about this high... You're gonna be able to lay someone. It's it's a little odd. Um, it's something you could take advantage of. I'm not 100% positive how well this works, but I just thought it's something I could throw in there for you. All right, moving on to this spot. Um, jumping on this right here is something nobody like ever expects for some reason. So you'll have people that'll swing out. <clears throat> probably like if they're gonna clear, they're probably gonna clear something like right here first. Make sure no one's camp in there. And then this is just such a bad like way to push. So. They're probably going to throw a nade, I would imagine. Um, and then, you, you know, you can adjust it off that. But if they're not, they're going to walk right through here. I guarantee you they're not pre-aiming this. I have never seen it before. And it seems to be a pretty free kill. Um, so they pretty much have to fully expose themselves even to peek this. And this just needs a little heads up. All right, so this next spot is actually something you would never think about and that's kind of how i play a lot of my spots is what's something someone would probably not check just because it's such such a stupid spot to be in but right behind this door not only can someone just come out and walk right past you um because they're gonna what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be worried about a, a couple or a few things they're gonna be looking down here to make sure no one's coming make sure no one's camping this and then they gotta worry about this weird swing and obviously this left hand peak is super exposing so it's you know there's not a single thought in their mind thinking someone's gonna be right here so what i do is i kind of just sit like this and then i'll kind of peek over here just to make sure no one's coming people walk right by you dude and you either get a free kill when they run here and kind of run and check this area as you can see this is a free kill or they'll just burn burn straight out going for the room and as soon as they pass by you again it's free as fuck so while we're here, I uh, might as well just show you guys this spot. It's a little risky if someone nades, but it's super good if someone just comes right through and hopefully they don't nade. So if you say dead silent, you're probably okay. But again, it's another one of those things where nobody's aiming right here. They're going to walk right through like this. There's no reason for them to ever like peek right here because you, you would be fully out. It'd be in their peripheral vision. So they're gonna go like this walk right by and not even see you here it's an easy beam so there's just a little black room camping spot you can use it's pretty nice um this door doesn't spawn open so it's a little risky um so you're, you're kind of playing a weird game but if someone's kind of a, you think they're a little oblivious um literally right here very like you're hardly exposed at all no one's really looking here and you have a very good angle and you can even just watch it just sitting like this and you're probably not going to be seen at all and then a new spot i found on for black room is i've noticed that i'm gonna say like 95 percent of the time people feel a need to swipe black right here i'm not sure why it's just kind of a thing we all do i think it's because this door spawns open and we're just fucking lazy um but this one spawns closed 
and most of the time no matter what direction people burn right past it so what i've kind of thought about i haven't pulled this off yet but judging based on just how people play this this map sitting right here should be a free kill because someone's gonna swipe here even if they look through this glass they're not gonna see you and they're gonna go start looting if you let them full loot going all the way around right here and then they get busy looking for the few stims i mean this is just an easy beam as well all right going into server room this is a pretty dirty spot as well a little risky i'd probably recommend closing these doors um this is more so if you already hear someone over here um you don't want to risk dying you jump on this little red railing then you get a shift jump easiest hold if someone has a full swing you to even see you and they're gonna be dead by that time anyways this is an old spot people used to camp uh i don't see it anymore i haven't seen it in over a year probably um but this is a spawn point right here and if you just like lean no one's gonna look here maybe someone will prenate it like a like an og labs player where this spot used to be common but from what i've seen people will burn right past here and I, even if you just hear them running as soon as you hear them about right here they're probably not even looking here anymore they're gonna be looking down here it's an easy p free kills there's a couple spots in hangar that i really like um this first one is super easy a little shift jump here and depending on your gun so this is probably not the greatest gun it's gonna be poking and so unless you play like this and you look up to get vision this is probably the only way it works you have maybe like an mp7 or even if you're like a 5 7 something small it's gonna work a little better but nobody is ever gonna be thinking to look up here um they're gonna walk right by you i've done it before it's three kills and they have an easy little beam here and then if you come right over here actually jump on this box and depending on how you want to play this if you want to play really safe with someone coming through here they got to walk all the way fully exposing themselves even to see you or you can lay down like this and get a little bit of a deeper peek um i actually like this one better because i don't feel as exposed behind me you do have this as cover and you should be able to hear someone coming here um this is a lot more risky just with all these different positions so this next spot it's gonna be in freezer uh it's not a common spot i've seen it maybe once in my entire time playing labs but it's good to know um if you come right here and then i believe i haven't done this in a long time you jump and crouch yep there you go just a nice little spot if you feel like you're gonna be outnumbered in a fight and then maybe someone will push in here they might not even look up so if you kind of play really still they might walk by you um especially if you like take out oh i guess you can't even take out the lights on this map oh. yeah i don't know it'd be a little bit risky but either way it's free kills if you let them walk in um so just keep that one in mind and another spot that's like very common now over the past like year so i was jumping here and doing a little side jump and you have a full peak here so i from what i've seen and what i've tried is the best way to do this is just like banking a nade over here so you can either hear if someone moves first or get them to move in order to peek this more safely um i mean you could also throw a quick nade like this then run up and do the same thing but it doesn't really matter it can be a little risky to peek now without throwing a nade or something like that or pre-fire pre -fire any of that because a lot of the times um, this one's holding down here they're either holding it like this or or here or just ready to snap either way just because it's such a common spot now um but while we're right here also jump right here and this is a nice little spot if you hear someone down here as well and then also this one here crouch this one's a little risky but because it's such an odd spot People aren't really looking here. I, I think I've only died here like once. So you get a free kill like this. It's not the greatest spot again. Um, but it is something to keep in mind. You can even get someone if they're like laying down. I highly doubt that's going to happen, but you never know. And then if you're like really new to labs, it's another spot. I personally don't like this spot that much anymore. Just because everybody knows about it. It is a free kill if you spawn right here and someone beams out. But that's about it. I've noticed people are just pre-firing this now. Like, even if they're all the way down the hall, they're going to tap here just to see if they'll get a kill. All right, so coming over to red. This is another little spot. I don't know if I can even remember how I got up here. So it might take me a couple tries. Jump here. Crou okay, it's a crouch jump. Holding this can be risky. Um, it all depends because people are typically throwing nades in here. So, you know, play it accordingly. If someone throws a nade, 
honestly your best bet's probably to jump down because this door is gonna be open at this point and run out as soon as you hear that pin get pulled um but if they just walk in all nonchalant dude this is a free kill i mean no one's looking right here um holding it like this is damn near free all right so from across from red we have this room right here um this one's nice for a couple reasons if you think you hear someone in red it's a very easy peek uh, to try and figure that out um sometimes people like to camp in this little corner right here um it's a little hard to see but you should be able to see some movement going on and then one of my personal like probably top three spots on this map is this right here you jump on this desk jump up here and now you have this very dirty angle where your only way that you're gonna get killed in here from you know any other angle is right here I doubt someone's gonna be here looking into the room like that it doesn't happen normally and typically you're gonna hear people run through this room because it's so exposed that people aren't gonna spend time looking around so holding right here and I'll show a clip for this it's, it's beautiful people normally beam right through here um, so I think I got a kill here jump down peek the other one and there was like a third that I got so just pretty easy kills Why did this guy know to look up? Did he see me? All right, running down here is a super nice spot that I recently found. It's another one of those things where you're putting yourself in a high risk position because it's so exposed. But because of that, people aren't checking it. And I have a clip of it where my gun jams and someone beams right through gun jam he still didn't even look like i think he may have heard it but didn't know where it was from and because he he probably ran in like this like kind of alt peeking or i mean i guess middle mouse peeking in this game there's no reason for him to be because right here seems to be enough of a check but if you're sitting like this i mean maybe you have a pixel showing it doesn't even matter so they run right through it this is a free kill So moving on to elbow um this is a another one of those spots where you're putting yourself in a stupid position that you would think would never work but try it with a friend have them sit right here and scan this room like the likelihood you're gonna feel comfortable even looking here and seeing that there's nobody and you're gonna be so focused on clearing all this you're gonna walk right by a guy sitting right here and i believe this even covers your head fully to where you could or even just look down to make it even better i don't do that i'll just sit like this because people are not paying attention they'll walk right by i've let a three man walk by and just beam them all at the end this is a really good spot if you need to run to maybe heal or hide from whatever or if you're fighting raiders it's really good hiding under here is a beautiful spot most people never think to even look here um a more advanced labs player unfortunately might pre-fire this or even chuck a nade down there um which is pretty smart to do um but typically you don't see people getting caught there and then coming over here this is going to take me several tries i'm not good at this one but it's a beautiful spot so jumping up on this box i can shift jump over here and i'm gonna have to cut until i get this but when you come on this box it's gonna be like a jump crouch i believe um and then i'll show you why it's so good all right that was actually easier than I thought. I just he held right here against the wall, jump crouched up, and was able to get up there much easier than before. Um, so what you want to do for this one is you want to lean left. You are exposed behind you, but hopefully someone's not just crouch walking behind you. You're going to hear them anyways. Um, this is a good spot if you hear somebody um, fighting, like parking area, like in this elbow where I just showed you guys. And you just sit here and wait. And then you have this really easy peek. Again, it's another one of those things where somebody's going to be so busy clearing all this that there's nothing in their head with me saying let's look up here like it just doesn't happen and so if you're leaning you should have nothing showing if you do have anything showing it's like a pixel maybe 
Um, and by the time this is already all cleared, they're going to feel comfortable enough to probably nade down here just like this. And, you know, if, even if they fall the out, this is already a free kill because now you have the free exposure. If they do it, maybe they'll sit here. You're not going to see it. After that nade goes off, they're going to run just like this and it's a free kill. So a spot I found recently is actually this one. Uh, I think I found this one like a couple weeks ago. If you jump on this chair and you do like a little run and jump and actually clip onto this. I don't do it often enough to like have this down yet. There we go. So this right here is a nasty angle for watching down this hall. And then also if you hear somebody coming down here, sit back enough. There's a couple ways you can hold this. You can hold it like really aggressively if you'd like, but you can come back like this and like crouch. Now they have to full swing you. And this is already a free kill. Again, this is another thing where it's crosshair placement. They're going to come out fast enough. They're probably not going to be looking up here. To where it's already just... They put themselves, themselves in a super bad position. And their crosshair's down here. You should already have yours on their head by that time. So it's another free kill. So this right here, I'm not sure what strength you need for it. But if you jump on this, you can easily get up on here. This is a, a good spot for a couple of reasons. One... If there's someone camping here, it's a good kill. Um, it's also a good spot to even just hold like this or even right here as well. Um, I think if you have high enough strength, I could have sworn I saw someone get up on this part. I think you need max. I'm not sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that. And I think you can jump up on this. Yep. Um, which gives you a whole range of new things. So if someone was camping here that you knew about, they're probably not going to expect you to jump up on this, and this should be a free kill. Um, you may even be able to jump in now. Yep, if you crouch on the way down. Yep, just like that. Another spot to look out for are people that sit in these little cubbies. While they're pretty exposed from, like, other angles, people aren't typically not checking this, and especially because um, yellow card is so common right now um, with the new loot buff. I guarantee you're going to start seeing people, once they fade this out, camping this room just like this. It's such a free kill just to hold. This is actually a not exposed spot at all. Um, even if you hold it like this, you could probably let someone run right by you. Go to swipe in. As they're swiping, you take them out. This is a spot worth noting. I've personally never seen it been used. Um, I've never used it personally either. But if you're like an Uber rat and you just sit right here, this doesn't leave a whole lot of room for you to get caught. Maybe if someone peeks down up here, but if they're showing their head, I mean, this should be a free, pretty free kill anyways. And typically you're gonna have people beam right past here. And I would think as soon as you hear them pass to your right, it's an easy little kill just like that. Um, I'm not sure. Let me know if you try it and it works out. Uh, I would think it would. Um, but again, like a lot of my spots, they're kind of based on players not expecting it because there's such open spots to where you wouldn't think it'd be worth sitting at but in reality when people are not paying attention to things like that it's free and speaking of that sitting in a little janitor closet right here uh typically unchecked i've had people walk even a team of two before walk straight past here and as soon as that they're down at the end of the hallway you just have these free kills because no one's checking here I'm, to my knowledge no loot spawns in here if anything maybe a fucking bandage no one's checking that room it has nothing in it worth going into for so it's an easy spot to sit at another spot to note is uh up here on, on green level um i like it because it's you get pretty good cover to hold down this hallway um so that's nice uh, a lot of the times you're gonna have people that come up these stairs they're gonna be so focused on someone either being down here or hoard, holding close on this angle that they're probably not going to check to the left here. And even if they do, they're going to have to fully peek out. And this should be already a free kill for you. It's pretty rare that you can fuck that one up. But just keep it in mind. And also right here, if you do hear somebody like head glitching maybe or whatever. I've seen this spot before. I haven't pulled it off yet. Jumping on this and peeking out like this is an extremely dirty angle. Only thing that sucks is you are exposed completely from behind. But if you're just trying to get that quick kill, you know for a fact someone's here. 
Maybe you can like chuck a nade over here to get them to run away. Then jump jump up and then on the repeat you should win this now. And then also inside of green there's one spot that I do really love and I actually don't mind getting trapped in green because of this spot. Because you're fully covered from every angle on the outside and also being able to check over here. But if you crouch just like this, you can actually peek through these windows. And if someone shows their head, it's a free kill. And if they push through, it's a pretty free kill as well, given that you have all this covering, you're just talking about this. And then an old spot that I used to use was oops, I don't mean to close that. Opening out both of these doors. This works better if you have a teammate. It will work solo. I've pulled it off before. Um, if you have someone that's not really paying attention. But sitting right here, if they don't pre-nade, is super, super effective. Um, this pixel right here, people aren't really looking through. Only a more advanced player is going to peek that. Um, and I'll show you. When they're coming up, like a more advanced player is going to maybe aim through here and notice that there's a color difference with you being there. But a good fair bit of time, you're going to have players walk right past you. Um, they're probably going to go for the new high tier loot right here. So that should be a pretty free kill. And hopefully it's only one. If it's not, I would let them all come through. Probably take this one out. And then depending on the situation, either come out here to reset. Or just try to pull it all off. I mean, it's completely situational. I think that about wraps up all my solo spots for labs. If you guys, again, did like this video, please let me know in the comments below if you want to see this on maybe like customs, factory, etc. Um, and we can uh, definitely crank those videos out. Also, if you did not know, I stream every day on Twitch just about maybe six days a week at 5 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. EST. There it is. Um, and so, yeah, make sure to check out those links, guys. And I appreciate all the subs, comments, all that. All that shit helps a lot. So I appreciate that, guys. But yeah, if you're watching this video now and it's around that time, definitely drop by the stream. Let me know you watched the video. I'd love to see you guys there. We're trying to build my channel. And uh, yeah, boys, appreciate you guys. Peace out.